Watch it guys, welcome back to the Zeus Stars and Eliminator Retro Game Channel. I go by the name of Zeus, and for this let's play I bring you Bobo uh, on the Atari ST, also known as Stir Crazy. Now, uh, this, does, this actually has got an Amiga release as well, but I remember first playing this on the Atari ST, so I thought, well, wow, let's do a let's play on the ST version, why not? And uh, it's quite a good game actually, it's, it's actually developed in France, um, and the idea is you're an inmate, and you've got to perform certain tasks from peeling potatoes to mopping up the floor to stopping your um, bunk bed mates from snoring so you get rest so you know, there's, there's an, a challenged element to it as far as um, just getting through your daily chores so there's no ending it doesn't actually it, you know it doesn't reward you with escaping out of the prison or anything but there's six stages and we're going to uh, see what they're like now crack on with them and it can be a bit tricky at first. I have to look at the instructions to find out what to bloody do. And, you know, like now, if, I, if you see the bloke in the bottom corner, he's holding out a sign saying all. So you can select just le play level one, level two, level three, level four, five, level six. But obviously, we want to have a look at all of them. And once you press fire button, I didn't know what to do after that. It doesn't exactly tell you, does it? But you have to put your name in, which I'm going to do now. There we go. <clears throat> then you have to press return again. So that I didn't know. I spent 10, 20 minutes trying to work out how to start the game. And I might not last very long on this stage, this particular first stage, because it's a bit tricky for the controls. The idea is it's a bit like Tapper. Instead of topping up the beers, you've got to top up their food. So let's see how far I get up this. Oh, no, see, up. Oh. There you go, I'm dead already. <laughs> there we go, dead already. Well, that's stage one. <laughs> we'll come back to that in a minute. We'll have another go on that. Let's get to stage two. That's the worst stage. It's tricky remembering the uh, the controls. Now, I think stage two is one of those joystick wagglers, and I hate using my Quickshot 2 for this. I've got a special joystick for these bloody waggly games and knacker your joystick up in no time so in this stage you've got to peel potatoes and here he is yeah so you press down once the game starts press down there you go waggle and then fire button down again waggle fire button yeah i don't like um using my joystick favorite joystick for these type of games that one did I I don't think you ever get rid of, of the potatoes it just you just keep going until you get buried in them <laughs> it's an alright game you know it's not a major laugh but each stage is very different so that keeps it interesting no didn't peel that one i didn't peel that one either no i'm getting knackered now <laughs> Yeah, I remember getting this on the summer. Was it summer pack or did I have a crack copy? I can't remember. But I didn't know there was an Amiga. There you go, game over. I didn't know there was an Amiga version of this until later on. Okay, that's stage two. On stage three. And I think this is the floor mopping stage. So as I said, each stage is very different. You, you get to do different tasks. Obviously you're an inmate, you're never going to get out by the looks of it. You've just got to make your day as easy as possible, basically. Yeah, and here we go. So this one you have to... Um, all these bastards keep... keep um, stay there. 
over there. There we go. Let's see what I mean. Got to keep mopping the floor. Bloody dogs. You can usher them back in. Good mop, hasn't he? He hasn't got to dip it in water, rain. And who the hell would let a dog in the prison loose? Go on, get back in there, you fat fuck. Uh, it gets it gets frantic now, doesn't it? You can't. Look at that. There's only so much you can do. You can, said so you can usher them back into the into the uh, doorways that they came out of. <laughs> oh god, it's getting too bloody hard now. They're coming out of every door. Charles, get back in you fat bastard, game over. Next stage. And I think this is a trampoline stage. You've got to try and bounce your um your mates out of prison basically. Break them out. I think yeah, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, there's one. Two. You've got to angle them as well, you just can't. Because they would just. Well, you can some of them, but others usually just bounce straight up so you get nowhere, or you can splatter them against the wall. I don't think that. I don't think he's out, I'm not sure. You get splat. So there's never any endings on these stages at all. It just goes on as far as, far as you can, as far as you can handle it. It's all down to performance. You don't... What happens there? I think you just run around the corner and that's it. Yeah, it never ends. You never see an end screen. go stage one in a minute see if I can <laughs> prove on that yeah, it's okay it's, it's, a, it's a different game isn't it I mean it's six very different stages so um, it's worth playing a few times So it's basically six mini games. And this one, if I remember right, you've got to jump the power lines. Which tells me he's escaped. Yeah, so he's basically escaped. And he obviously gets caught because on the sixth level you've got to stop your your roommates keeping you awake snoring, so obviously he's been captured again. So here you go. You've got to watch the electric currents. Jump from one side to another. Like that. Whoa, like that. Yep. Whoa. See, it's bloody fast. Oh, it got me. It don't last long either. Again, you just last as long as you can.
Okay, final stage. Your bunk bed mates, your inmates are not letting you sleep because they keep bloody snoring, so you've got to keep nudging them. And then eventually you just collapse, exhausted. They are five bastards trying to keep you awake. So yeah, you do that, you do that. You do that. Oh. In bed. Oh, dear. on the bunk beds always oh, there's one snoring over there as well Just keep tapping on keep tapping on stopping bloody snoring there you go you can get some points now out to sleep and then suddenly they start snoring again like him up there So it never ends. You just keep. You just keep doing it until um, you collapse of exhaustion. now they're not giving you a break oh come on they're just bloody yeah now you die so each stage doesn't last long it gets so hard and that's it that's basically the whole game but you get a chance to um play each level separately and I'm gonna go back to level one now because I made a real f friggin hash of that so uh, let's try that again it's getting the controls right I can never remember it's very awkward right, so we want stage one right let's try that again Probably die immediately again. Oh, I've got Zeus this time. I didn't actually uh, put my name in properly, then never mind. <clears throat> so we've got to try and do that first part of the stage. Yep, yeah, okay. Oh, how did you do it? See what I mean? I can never remember. Oh, there we go. There we go. Get up there. That's it. Yeah, that's right. Then you've got to collect your pot. And then... Oh, I'm going to die now. You bastards. Yeah, there we go. You don't last long on this stage at all. And it's a very weird control, it's like chess, up, down, it's like a gearbox, you can't go across or, it's, it's very, it's very mathematically done, you've got to either go up and a certain level, of, up past the screen and then turn right, it's very awkward, it's just like a gearbox, you can't go in between and, and diagonally or anything like that, so uh, it's not as playable as tap up, put it that way. But that's Bobo from Stir Crazy, uh, Atari SC and Amiga. I don't know if it was released on any of the others. Might have had a Commodore 64 release, I can't remember. But it's worth a few games, you know, uh, worth a few shots. But you won't be playing it. You know, it won't be one of your ever favourites because there's no endings. It's just six mini games and uh, it's just a game you you play to pass, the, you know, past 10 or 15 minutes of your time. Um, it's quite amusing and um, gives you a break of from the shmups and heavy platform games you feel like oh let's play 10 minutes of a game that uh, you can 
just muck about with and enjoy, you know, get the stress levels out before you get on with the next schmuck game. But uh, yeah, it's alright, it's not so bad, so yeah, give it a shot, see what you think. And uh, you might enjoy it, and again, you might not, but it's from Infograms, it's a French release, and that's Bobo from Stir Crazy. So that's a Let's Play on the Atari ST version. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that Let's Play. Until next time, happy gaming.